Hello. Hello, everybody. Yeah, I guess it was time for an update. It's been crazy since uh, the last time we did a video, mm -hmm. and the outpouring of support has been unbelievable. I yeah, mean, we were blown away. You think that you're alone in all of this, and just the fact that we've had our YouTube channel, our Instagram, being able to share this on our GoFundMe, that everyone was there for us rooting us on, particularly rooting you on. But yeah. Also, I just need to acknowledge the number of caregivers who spoke out there mm. of how hard this is. This is not an easy adventure we're on, but we're we're gonna chug through it. Yeah, and we just wanted to jump on, um, you know, and kind of give you a short update of what's going on because it's been crazy since the last time we did update mm -hmm. anybody. So the last thing we knew, Ed and I were gonna be leaving tomorrow. To yes. head back to Phoenix. Yep. And we were doing everything. We were packing. Boxes were getting packed. I mean, everything around us right now is packed. This is the one spot that we still have set up to talk. Yeah. And quickly, housing wasn't lining up the way it was supposed Multiple to. Multiple times we couldn't mm -hmm. find housing quite. Shipping the car off of the island is actually harder than shipping it onto the island. We didn't know that. Getting the dogs transported, same type of stuff. And when you add in... There's still COVID flight impacts for pet travel as cargo and things like that. So just nothing was lining up. And we, we had a date in the sand where we couldn't push forward if we didn't have everything squared away. And that came and passed this weekend. And we had to reevaluate. And we didn't know if we were going to move forward or not. But what we started looking at, I mean, there's one thing good that did come out of 2020, I think, for all of us. It's, it's the remote nature of our world right now. Sure. Yeah. And all of the visits we had scheduled for you in Phoenix were going virtual anyway. They were kind of on the fence when we scheduled them. They're virtual now. We were able to find other clinical trials around the country um, at some prominent cancer centers where we said, you know, we need to step back and we really need to evaluate everything. And we need to make sure that whatever treatment we do for you wouldn't jeopardize a clinical trial, which we knew. Right. So next week, we have a lot of virtual visits coming up. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah, happy 2021. But that's how we're going to start sure. is finding the next part of our adventure. So for right now, with COVID risks, the difficulty in all of the travel, we decided that the value to us is to not move as quickly as we were because all of those options still have a lot of questions with them. And us being physically in Phoenix, but maybe not where the end result is, didn't serve a purpose of leaving here just yet. Right. I mean, at the end of the day, this is still our home, even though we've only been here a couple of months. And yeah, I, I have a bed here. Mm -hmm. I can lay down. We don't have to worry about... We were going to go to Phoenix, and immediately the first thing we'd have was an air mattress on the floor. And that's all we would have. And Ed may have been starting treatment right. on an air mattress, or potential surgical or lesser, you know, invasive... Right. So we just, we just need to take a deep breath, which is mm -hmm. hard, because the first thing you want to do when you find... Or we did it the first time too. You want it? You want I want it this out. cancer. Treated. I want it treated out. Whatever it is, I don't want cancer in my body. But it became this big ordeal, and said, "Could a couple of weeks maybe help us refocus?" And that's what I think we had to do. And mm -hmm. it's scary. It's scary because one of the things they are telling us is, "The sooner the better. The sooner the better." But also, weigh out your options. Well. So, so, so right now, the next week, and again, we're not, we, we put our, we, we're tapping the brakes here because we don't know if Phoenix is still where we go or if there's other clinical trials. So right now, the goal for the next week is to start to look at some options, look at what you can do to kind of start a therapy now, if it's chemo, and make sure it's not going to jeopardize other clinical trials. So everyone's just getting on the same page. You're probably going to have about four different neuro-oncologists and, and team all talking to each other to make sure we're stepping forward with the best thing. And if we need to wait to go to Phoenix or we need to go to New York or Boston or LA or wherever might be the best option for a trial or study for you, we can at least get chemo going here with a physician that's here on the island that can keep tabs on you while we make better plans to do all of that. So yep. ultimate treatment for you is still on the mainland somewhere. Yep. But the urgency versus figuring out exactly where it is started to show itself over this weekend. And we found some other potential treatment sites and options that we're all going to talk about. So, so the deep, update We're taking is a breath. A breath. We yeah. needed it. It was, as a caregiver, to all of you caregivers out there, 
trying to move us in 10 days was extremely overwhelming, even though there's no two people better at moving ten, us. 10 days in any household, forgetting uh, a global pandemic, difficult. Mm -hmm. 10 days with one of us, basically, I can't do much. I'm starting to get some energy back now with the medication changes, but still, I can't do much. Exactly. So basically, it was Jason doing everything for a move across the ocean. It, Coordinating all the moving days. parts that yeah. were coming together, it, it finding just... housing. So for the moment, we're still working on all of this behind the scenes. We're going to update you when we have more to update on what the, the treatment plan looks like. But for right now, we hang tight through the new year. We do a bunch of virtual visits <laughs> next week. We do some visits here in Oahu to kind of just get you established should some of the therapy be here. And that's our plan for the next week or so. And we yeah. will update you from there. We are so deeply appreciative of all of the love that everyone is sending. It, it, believe me, many times mm -hmm. we've teared up. I know friends and family who have teared up just because people really are there for you. Uh, and something that everyone can't see because they're private notes to us with, with, with donations and remarks and things like that. The stories that are out there similar yeah. to ours, the challenges that other, other people have faced. It, it really warms your heart to know there's a community that you never want to have to find, but it is there. Yeah, and, and just being willing to open your heart to let them in, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's difficult, but it is, yeah, so important. So for the time being, Happy New Year, everyone. Yeah. We're going to celebrate it low-key here and figure out what the be our beginning of 2021 We're not going out partying. You can. I don't think it's advice. I don't, advised, think, I don't think it's advice for anybody at no. this point, but you know. So we'll be figuring out what the beginning of our 2021 looks like, and we'll keep you all posted. Yeah. Thank you. So, just thank you again. Yeah. Thank you.